Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited about today's video. I'm finally showing you my potting bench. Um, if you're new here, please subscribe and give this video a like if you want to see more DIYs. Um, I will link the video of how we made this in the description bar and in the cards, so you can check that one out too. But I am so excited to share this with you. Just a side note, I have to wear my sunglasses because it is so bright out here I cannot see. And two, I'm wearing the same outfit that I did in my other video. I'm showing my front porch, but today I feel good. And even though my I sound like I don't, I do. But anyway, that's here and right there. But that is why I'm wearing the same clothes. Because it's the same day and I'm not about to go change clothes. I hate doing laundry. If you want to check out my potting bench, just keep watching. Um, I'm not quite done decorating it, but um, I'm loving how it's coming together and I'm just going to show you right now because this might take me all summer to finally get together. But what I wanted to talk about first is we, you, what stains we used. Um, the stain for this, like the wood part, um, I had a specific color in mind, however, it was impossible to find. Um, so I'm gonna like take a show you the can and then you can take that in if you want the same color. It's kind of like a, a light brown, more of a cool tone light brown, but I actually ended up really loving it. I didn't think I would, but um, I did. And then we just used a solid white stain on the back. Um, you want to make sure that you stain it really good because obviously it's outside in the rain and the weather and it will um, protect it a little bit better. Um, so I'm just going to take you around and show you everything that I've done. Alright, here is the stain that we used and we have all these stickers on here because they had to keep um, adding tint to it because it just was not um, dark enough. So it's really hard to tell you the exact color, but um, it's this, um, oh shoot, I don't even know, a Valspar um, outdoor stain. Okay, so here is an overview of the whole thing. Um, on the bottom here, I just have those metal tins that I got at Ross. Obviously, I need to still take the tag off. I'm planning to plant stuff in those. I just haven't decided what yet. And then I bought this beautiful little flower pot from our local Fred Meyer. Already done. My favorite kind. And then on the bench here, I got these two um, planters at Target, and I planted a little fern in one, and then I'm not sure what this pink flower is, but it's absolutely beautiful. And then I hung the black um, watering can, which I watered the stuff on the bench with. That's from the Target Dollar Spa. And then I have a little spritzer and some scissors. And you'll notice that these say parsley, thyme, and mint. <laughs> and this is basil, cilantro, and fake. That's because I need to get some chalk paint and repaint those. But um, the baskets are from Joann's. And then I just put in a terracotta pot in there because I didn't know how they would hold up. So I wanted the baskets to last. And then up here I just have another basket. I thought that I could just put like my gardening gloves and tools and things in. Another terracotta plant that I need to plant something in. That one's from Target. That's one of my favorite ones. It has a little detail on there. And then a bigger watering can. Um, that one is from Joann's too. And then at top I put my potting shed sign that I got at Joann's that I used inside for spring. Um, and then the copper rod is just a copper rod that we sh um, shined. It needs to still be cut. You can see over there um, for all those. And then we just use shower curtain hooks for the hooks. Um, this project was about a five hour project and cost us $40 in wood. All the other things were um, just scrap wood that my husband's picked up from 
job sites. But I love it. It makes the space just complete. And then in the next video, I'm gonna show you my whole entire back patio all the way done. I just love how it's coming together. Again, this is not finished. This is just gonna be ever evolving over the summer. So I might do little updates here and there. I hope you loved this video. I hope you loved my potting bench as much as I do. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and check out the video I linked below about the process of putting it together. And until next time, take care.